Hello folks, well, the creation of AI movies. This is something that I'm, I'm just wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt, but this is something that everybody have seen this. All of this, the AI, the one artist that I was expecting when I have done the 2024 MLB lockout video, I was expecting somebody to do something, all right? Do something out of that. Expecting that the freak the, the soundtrack that uh, was that is going to be I mean the move I mean the AI movie when I see things about oh Masters of the Universe He Man and and the Big Mac. The Big Mac, you know, it looked like a like a seventies pimp cartoon, the Big Mac, right? And taking down the Colonel Sanders, the Burger King, and and then and I seen the Wendy's and I mean sometimes that I wish that I wanted to see I wish that the person gets the idea the idea of uh the I probably he might call it Jose Canseco the murderer that turned Israel into a baseball powerhouse. It it would be that the soundtrack of that would be uh Hava Nagalia. Hava Nagalia would be playing around and all that stuff. That, if I would expect it to be, and why do I want this to be made? I want this to be made that is going to be very crucial. Very crucial of using Jose Conseco as the victim and Mark McGuire as the one that murders Jose Canseco, goes to court, and gets away with murder. Why? Because for most likely out of all this, that uh, that means that that what happened right here was ha going on, that means if the MOB favors a murderer, somebody that murders a whistleblower, everybody else have to favor the murderer. The murderer that murders a whistleblower, right? So that is the only solution to do. And and then this is where it's going to lead to another lockout. Another lockout. That means nobody's going to baseball games. The game would be improved. Steroid era returns, but they're going to call it the Jewish juice era. Yes, the Jewish juice era, and um, what it is is all about is that the AI movie, an AI movie being created, it would be called Mark McGuire the murderer who t who turned Is Israel into a baseball powerhouse. That's the name of the title. Yes, I said it in there in, in, in the um I said it in there in the MLB 2024 lockout video, but Hose but but Mark McGuire the murderer. Yeah, Mark McGuire the murderer who take who who turned Israel into a baseball powerhouse will be some kind of excitement this is using sports politics and to just focus on the on the bs on ho and the, the, the people that the media will be more focusing on the bullshit that Mark McGuire said that he is in danger because Jose Canseco was about to kill him that would be like, you know, Mark McGuire gets away with murder, all right? And it would be interesting, Carter AI Arts, I know what it is. I've seen that McDonald's, uh, about the Big Mac and all that stuff, but, who's, but, but Mark McGuire, the murderer, that uh, turned it... Mark McGuire the murderer 
that turns Israel into a baseball powerhouse is something that is to be known that it is. So the plot of this AI movie it starts like it is like I explained. Mark McGuire converts to Judaism and he knew about something and knew it because he got help not the US government but the Israeli government so he goes there the plot goes that holds, that Mark McGuire converts to Judaism Mark McGuire converts to Judaism just to bring back the steroid era and to only having this this thing about the people like like he sees all these you know pro palestine protesters in the streets so it would it would have those players play for the new york yankees and and whatnot yeah because it, because what's going to be is going to be like this. It's going to be like like, who's uh, uh, Mark McGuire, the murderer, who turned Israel into a baseball powerhouse. It's going to be like a, a very thing of epic proportion, proportions, and somebody have seen and have to be seen this. So after that, the plot goes with this. Then Mark McGuire sees the moment to see Jose Canseco. That Jose Canseco, like a snitch, like he always has been during the times of the Balco and all the, yeah, seems that this new era seems that all it is with the locker rooms, seeing Israel doping in baseball. Their plan is that they need to, need to win a world, the first world baseball classic title as to cover up what's going on in Gaza and everything like that and what and why not. So Jose Canseco Seiko favors Palestine. He wears a, a, a Palestine scarf. He wears a Palestine flag right in their team baseball team. Palestine trash talks about Israel but not just Israel the government but Israel the baseball team trying to mock themselves that people should go for them because their secret is antibiotic steroids right so the secret it's Israel's secret to win the 2026 World Baseball Classic is antibiotic steroids so that would be then then the secret it would be like after this after Mark McGuire knows he knows about the, the the steroids and how Israel needs this and they need to play to set up the World Baseball Classic to be held outside the Middle East where it's not Israel that is to held the final at Yankee Stadium. And do this in New York, and 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 then the lockover mean that means that how it won't work that it's going to be New York City for the 2026 Yankee Stadium, and not in some stadium in Dubai, right? It's only to make it works where the Israel national baseball team don't get to be kicked out of the tournament as what have happened to the Russian Olympic team for doping all right so that's how it's going to be in that case to say they ain't gonna do nothing on Israel because other players are doping right so that's how it is Jose can I mean Mark McGuire go goes to a gun store and buys a gun right so 
for all the meaning is that that Mark McGuire, sh the people in in there in in that AI movie, Mark McGuire should be favor as a hero after what he's going to do next. So after it is in the AI movie, it's going to be chalking. It's going to be like like what is going to be that artificial intelligence would make this kind of movie that Mark McGuire pulls out his gun, right? This is way into the 2023 going to 2024. He pulls out the gun, shoots Jose Canseco at gunpoint. And right there at that moment, you're going to see Jose Canseco falling down from the floor after he trash talks about the Israel's baseball team and 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 all that stuff goes down the floor in the gutter team Palestine lost their manager because Mark McGuire killed him Mark McGuire kills Jose Canseco who is the manager of pa uh, of team Palestine Right there, you see the blood. When, once you see the blood, I mean, there's the moment that, that you have seen the, the blood dipping on, on Conseco's Palestine scarf and the, and the shirt that is marked as, a Palestine, as the Palestinian flag. So, Jose Conseco is dead. They arrest Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire make up the lies because Mark McGuire will, sit, will pull out the gun and says, "Hey, shut the f up," and and pulls the trigger and murders Jose Canseco for talking trash about Israel. So there's the the sign that where's who's uh, where's Mark McGuire at court? Mark McGuire at court. What he's going to do is that Mark McGuire will be. Right there at court, in one side there's his judge, and the other side there's a rabbi, his rabbi. All right, so I mean that means that Jose can say I mean that means that Mark McGuire converted to Judaism, but the judge, the judge, will say that Mark McGuire is not guilty. For the murder of Jose Canseco, if we classified that that Mark McGuire did it on self-defense because Mark McGuire said that he was in danger because Jose Canseco was threatening him and Jose Canseco plans to kill Mark McGuire, so he used his gun and killed Jose Canseco, right? So that is that is the believable lie. The lie would be that the media right there believes the lie. Everybody believes the lie. And then um, Mark McGuire go, goes as a, as a guy of honor who is the manager of Team Israel. Everybody boos him. The television audience says. This game doesn't feel like it, this baseball game doesn't feel like it was held in in America or in the USA. It feels like it was held in Nazi Germany. That's what they say. It feels like it is held in Nazi Germany because they booed on Mark McGuire because he got away with murder. So that's where it, where it goes, and this is where it goes that Mark McGuire coaches. Israel. Israel wins their first World Baseball Classic with monster home runs with the help of steroids. Yes, with the help of steroids. Then was they were like, like, like people. If it's gonna come, it's going from outer space. <laughs> it's going all the way from the now. Like that, right? So, this is going to be like that. Israel turns into a baseball powerhouse 
in that AI movie, Jose Canseco have an announcement with Nate and Yahoo after the first thing he's who's well, Mark McGuire does. Mark McGuire have a message from Nate and Yahoo after Mark McGuire receives his Medal of Freedom at the White House, his Presidential Medal of Freedom at the White House for the lies about that, that he is the, like the only whistleblower. They're gonna just give credit to Mark McGuire more than Jose Canseco because Mark McGuire killed him. So, and this is where it, uh, where it ends. The, uh, the ending of the AI movie will be that Netanyahu, Bibi, holds out a replica of Mark McGuire's gun as a symbol of honor that Mark McGuire used that gun to kill Jose Canseco in the believable lie that Jose Canseco is going to threat Mark McGuire's life, right? And then, then the at the end of this a of this AI movie, a statue, a monument made in a statue in Tel Aviv. That is the statue is Mark Mark McGuire pulling out his gun, shooting at Jose Canseco and killed Jose Canseco. He pulled out the gun and killed Jose Canseco. That's what the statue is about. Um, Mark McGuire's statue in Tel Aviv, like he's like a hero. That means that just because Jose Canseco were to, uh, was the manager of Team Palestine, the planet of Palestine is that wanted to face Palestine against Israel in a baseball game, in a baseball tournament, World Baseball Classic, and 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 that would be that Mark McGuire is classified as a hero because Mark McGuire murdered Jose Canseco, believing in the lie that Mark McGuire said about Jose Canseco was threatening Mark McGuire that Jose Canseco is gonna kill Mark McGuire, so. The statue there's Mark McGuire's pulling out a gun and kill Jose Canseco at gunpoint, right? So that's what it is. It's like an honorable hero of his statue in Tel Aviv of Mark McGuire pulling out a gun and killing Jose Canseco. That's how the AI, AI movie ends about Mark McGuire the murderer who turned Israel into a baseball powerhouse that at the end Israel has won has won more world baseball classic titles than Japan Israel in the in the AI Israel winning more WBC titles than Japan when they Israel won more WBC BC titles than Japan at the end of the A at the AI, AI movie and this is why it's called Mark McGuire the murderer who turns Israel into a baseball powerhouse and that would Carter uh, and that would be that Carter AI arts needs supposed to do anybody who has the the ability to do the AI do it publish it on YouTube you know it's supposed to be shown on YouTube or in any source of media that people need to know that what is going on right now in this world is going towards sports when it going towards sports that means that that one particular country that is trying to say Oh, you see your news, they're fighting Hamas or war. They want to just go in there and I will use the AI of 
Mark McGuire being a murderer and kill Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire getting away with murderer just to turn Israel into a baseball powerhouse with the help of steroids. It is just to show you that one country could use sports and bring back the steroid era that I believe that is going to happen pretty soon that this AI movie should supposed to be made and it's supposed to be made even though you blocked me in Facebook and Instagram Carter Arts AI because it is necessary for this movie to be made it's it is called Mark McGuire the Mur Mark McGuire the murderer who turned Israel into a baseball powerhouse I hope anybody who created that AI movie, I hope they will give it out right here on YouTube, on Facebook, or any of the social media platforms because it is necessary and it's supposed to be made right now. Please subscribe to the Embargo Man channel and whatever you do, what is going on, just go with the flow. All right, I don't want you to, it is on you that you are the one that gonna empty ballparks and don't show up with an improved game. It is beyond you that you wanna be called a Jew hater when you criticize and bash somebody that murders a whistleblower. Yes, somebody that murders a whistleblower that gets away with murder. MLB would be in favor of a murderer. That means you go with the flow, you follow the murderer, or you just don't show up at the baseball game, right? So that is going to work. I hope that more than 90% of people should support the, 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 the murderer who kills the whistleblower that was gonna toss out the baseball, the, uh, toss out, oh, steroids are back in baseball. And that person gets murdered, but the murderer gets away with murder. MLB honors the murderer. I hope 90% of the people would be more in favor of the killer in 2024 than the whistleblower. So, goodbye, everybody. Please subscribe to the Embargo Man channel and see you on the next video.